Welcome back to Ta-da! 3D Printing. This is my current design for a silver miniature dollhouse kitchen. It's the smaller size set that I sell, but I had a request for a custom color of all white kitchen with black accents. So I'm going to start with the silver oven first. And I want to print this instead of my usual way, I want to print this on the Bamboo Mini to see how the multicolor print works. So usually I print the base, kind of the back of it, straight up, like you can see here, and that gives it kind of a rounded corners on the back and along the front. And then I print the door as a separate piece on its back. And I do a color change for the knobs, for the black knobs, but that means that I also have to do the silver handle as a separate piece because I can't do two color changes currently. And then I also print the black window separately and then I glue that in. So that's another piece. So just for the door alone, I end up with three pieces. I have the door, the handle, and the window. And then for the grill on top, I print it like this. And then I do the black grills as a separate piece because they sit kind of inside. So I can't do a color change normally. I would love to print this entire thing as one piece on a color change printer, but I don't think it's gonna work because those grills would be kind of in air funny if I printed it on its back. So I think I'm gonna have to split this up into two prints still. I'm gonna do the base with the door and then the grill complete as its own thing. I'll still have to glue two things together. So I already adjusted it in Tinkercad and put the base and the door together and then I pulled it into the bamboo slicer. Because the knobs have a lot of different surfaces, I decided that it would be easier to pull it in as a black piece and then just color change the white items. And she does, does want the handle white as well, even though I think the black might look kind of cool. So I can go through and paint all of these white pieces and see how that's gonna turn out. It looks like I'm not having too many issues with the overall design of this. I think it'll work. The black edges are messing with me a little bit, so I keep kind of going through to make sure everything is colored and it looks good so I can, and then I realized I didn't have the inside parts of this window painted white. So I do that, it takes me a couple times to get that coloring correct. And then I get, I think I have everything good. So I go and slice it and just make sure everything is colored and I missed the white on the bottom of this handle. So I need to jump back over and finish painting that. Everything looks good, but the print time of two hours is a little longer than I was thinking. And then I remembered I had been messing with the settings. So I am on the mini, but I'm at a really low layer height. I'm at 0.08 extra fine. So that's a little bit more than I need. So I'm gonna switch it to the 0.2 layer height, which is the standard. Then I can slice this again, and it looks like it's gonna be a little over an hour, which is more what I was expecting, and I would prefer to do it in 0.2 layer height if possible anyways. The Bamboo Mini does come with a camera, and it comes with an SD card already in it, which is great. The angle is a little weird though, because you're gonna see me moving around in my space a little bit, you're gonna see the dogs, because it's not an enclosed printer, you're gonna see everything around it. And now the print is complete, and it actually looks pretty good. Um, the knobs are pretty good, they're a tiny bit stringy, but I'm not seeing any you know, black streaks into the white. I do feel like I'm seeing a little bit of a shadow just above the handle, I'm not sure what that's about. I'm, I might need to look back in the slicer. But overall, it printed really good to have all of these different pieces that normally I would have to do for the oven. I do need to check and see if it warped a little bit too on this textured sheet. Um, it might just have warped just a hair. So, But I think I'm pretty happy with this and to have to glue a little bit less would be great. But I am still curious about this black shadow above the handle. So I go back into Slicer and I don't see that anything looks black, but I pull down the layers and sure enough, when I get just to like the first layer here, it's black. So right where the knobs are, it starts the knobs and into the handle. For some reason, that layer is black. And I'm not really sure why it did that. I mean, all the infill is white. 
So I'm trying to see if there's a way that I can paint that. It doesn't look like I can just paint at a certain layer. It looks like it's just painting on the exterior. So I zoom in and I'm looking at these different options, trying to fill it in, but nothing's changing because the slice plate isn't changing. So whatever painting I'm doing is not doing anything. Um, I did the fill, maybe if I do the gap fill, I'm not sure what the difference is on a couple of these. Obviously fill, I've been using a lot. Doesn't seem like any of those are working. So maybe if I just took the little like sphere, just kind of paint along this edge, maybe that would help. But again, it doesn't seem like anything's changing because the slice plate hasn't changed. So maybe I could import it again and just have it as a solid white part and then go through and paint the knobs, which is what I was trying to do the opposite of. Um, maybe that would help, um, but let me know your thoughts. If you guys have run into this before where you have an internal color that you don't want, and normally it wouldn't matter too much, but with the white, I just feel like there's just a little bit that shows through. So I'm gonna keep looking at this. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.